I spent $180,000 in this LiDAR. Let's see how the new integration from Green Valley with the $500 DJI LiveOx LiDAR compares. Yo, dude, did you just see that DJI released a new $500 LiDAR? $500? Only $500. Is this, is this recent? Uh, I don't know. I'm on their website. I can see it. Is it, like, can you buy it? Can you click buy? You can buy it now. You can click buy, you can buy it right now. $500? Yeah, dude. Harrison, didn't you just spend, like, $180,000 on one? Yeah, I totally did spend $180,000 on that LiDAR sensor, and it's awesome, I love it. But DJI, the global leader in the drone industry, they control about 70% of the marketplace, they now release their own LiDAR sensor for $500. Now it's not the only thing that goes into one of these whole package mapping systems, it's, you know, you also have a GPS and an IMU and a bunch of other softwares inside there to make it all work together. So the total price is a little bit more expensive, but that fundamental price of the LiDAR sensor really is gonna drive the price of this market down. I gotta try this out. I just called up a buddy of mine who works over at Green Valley International. He told me they just finished integrating this sensor into a new mapping system. And he said, I get to play with it. So let's go over to his office in Berkeley, California, get our hands on this and go take it out for a test drive. Oh, all right, so we've got our hands, we've got, we've got our hands on this new, inside this Pelican case, this small Pelican case, this is the new DJI Livebox LiDAR sensor in here. Now it's actually, we got a few other things in here. This is actually an entire LiDAR mapping kit. So it's more than just the, the sensor, but it's really small, you know. I got an idea. You know, this is, this may be interesting. So before I tell you the idea, let me give you a little perspective on something. So check this out. Come check this out. Okay, so for that little bit of perspective, that little bit of perspective, this is all the stuff that I would take with me usually to do a LiDAR map uh, with a drone. So yeah, we got the drone right here. We have tripods, GPS receivers, we got the LiDAR, we got a ton of batteries. And we got a bunch of accessories and everything else that we need to take. So this is a lot to carry. This is usually what I take. So now what I'm thinking, what I'm thinking is we're going to get everything inside of this backpack. just fit in this backpack. It's blowing my mind right now because this is just way smaller than I even thought it was gonna be. It's all in there. Cool. But let's think about a place to go and where we can go test this out. We're in Berkeley right now, so, you know, Lake Tahoe isn't that far from here. So let's go ahead and go out to Lake Tahoe and I'm gonna put this on my back. I'm gonna go hike into the woods, find a nice beautiful place to test out the new DJI LiDAR sensor, which is in this backpack. And pretty soon, if you just stay with me for a few more minutes, I'm gonna reveal this LiDAR sensor. Let's go to Lake Tahoe now. All right. 
Hi, we just finished our hike. We're here on top of the mountain. We'll also unpack the DJI. Let's get the LiDAR out of the backpack, get the batteries assembled. We're going to do some mission planning, and then we're going to take off and survey this entire area. Again, we got cliffs, we got rivers, there's some forested areas, as well as the snow. So it's going to be a wide terrain to be comparing this LiDAR sensor. Let's do this. We just got everything unpacked. We got the M210 out of the bag. We got the Livox Li Air V from Green Valley out of the bag. The controller, still got the tablets in the backpack there. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and unbox this Li Air V LiDAR sensor from Green Valley. All right, so I'm already pretty amazed by the size of this case. It's already smaller than everything else I've seen. Let's open it up and see what's inside. Wow, okay. Okay, it looks like well, we have, I think this is the LiDAR sensor here. We got our GPS base station. I think this is the base station controller module. And then accessories and some antennas. So let's pop this bad boy out and see what we're looking at here. Wow. So this is the LiAir V from Green Valley and it is absolutely tiny. This thing is this is small, just look at that on my hand. I can't believe this. It weighs, I mean, what is this? This has got to be only one, maybe, maybe maybe two pounds, two or three pounds, yeah, something like that. And what do we have on here? Well, we have all the connectors. We got a config, a LAN, the power. I see one button right now. And then here we got the title here, LiAir V. On the top here, it looks at like the quick release for the mounting plate. We got our GPS connectors, and then right there, that's what you all want to see. That's the Livox sensor from DJI right there, integrated into this small package. So all you have right here is the DJI Livox, and inside this we have a GPS, there's an IMU, a complete computer system, and basically everything you need to be mapping with LiDAR. It's very impressive. The pretty little Green Valley logo engraved on the back. So let's go ahead and install this into the drone and then we'll set up the base station. Uh, the next thing we're gonna do is start doing some flight planning and we're gonna test out how this thing performs. Means it's working. Onto the laptop. All right, we're doing good. We're up in the air, flying the mission. Everything looks really good right now. With a flight plan programmed into the flight controller, it's going to the first waypoint. And from there, we're gonna do about 12 flight lines. Flight characteristics look a little nose heavy, to be honest. And you know, we're at 6,000 feet elevation, so the air is much thinner up here. This is a heavy payload and it's on a smaller drone. So it's a heavy payload for the smaller drone, but honestly, it's still flying pretty darn good. So I feel comfortable with it. Well, there we have it. We just finished flying that mission with the LiAir V, which has the $500 LiVox sensor from DJI on it. Let's go back to the office now and process that data and see how it lines up and compares with something I spent 180 grand on a couple years ago. Welcome back to the office. We just got done out in the field flying the LiAir V and now it's time to take a look at the data. We've already pulled everything off of the, the system. We processed it and we're about to get the first hand look at the first flight with the LiAir V here in South Lake Tahoe. So we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the computer on the computer right now, we see the data that we have flown and it looks pretty darn good. I'm very impressed with the performance of this system. Now, the first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and pop over here and grab this cross section 
And this is going to give us a more complete idea of exactly what it is we're working with. So let's grab an area. That looks beautiful right there. Check that out. Okay, well let's go ahead and reduce the thickness of that. I think this will give us a little bit of a better, better understanding. Okay, so there we go. You can see some trees, very beautiful. Good ground penetration, so we're seeing the ground very well. Let's go ahead and hop up here to this flat spot and we will quickly, now this looks like it's snow, so maybe a little exaggerated, but let's just get a rough idea. If we click on this measurement tool, which tree is right here. That's about roughly nine centimeters of thickness. So that's pretty good. Now that's very impressive for this package and the price that we paid for it. Now, that being said, this is not gonna replace the $180,000 sensor that I have. I got plenty of use cases for that. That is a surveying beast and you need it a lot of the times. But on the other hand, this new system being so cheap, it kind of opens up a lot of ideas for me. Like what can we be doing with this? I'm thinking, you know, avalanches, disasters. I'm thinking things where you need some speed and maybe it's in a remote location. You don't want to lug around that huge LiDAR system and the M600, all the batteries and all the gear. You can just have this, one backpack, one person. I think the future is going to open up a lot of doors for this system and I'm willing to bet on that. So stay tuned. But for now, that's the LiDAR V. I hope you enjoyed the video. And as always, like, subscribe, and uh, please leave some comments. I'd love to get back to you on what I think and what else we can do. As always, this is Indiana Drones. See you next time.